What's up graphics gang and welcome back to crypto graphics today We're gonna go over how you can import tokens from pulse chain into your wallet So that's importing the pulse X token importing wrapped ether and we're gonna go over three steps or three different ways that you can do that today before we get into today's video Let's talk real quick about how you should why you should stick around to the end for how to win one of three cryptographics hoodies as well as a major announcement coming up so that will be starting uh this wednesday so stick around for, for that and while you're at it please like and subscribe before we get into today's video and in this video like i was saying we're going to go over how to use PulseX, so the exchange itself on the test net this is all in the test net only this is mainnet is not live but this all will apply to when mainnet is live so this is a practice session essentially for when the real game starts so we're going to go over how to use the PulseX exchange, the Pulse Chain Block Explorer, similar to like Etherscan, um, and the Pulse Ramp Bridge to import tokens into your MetaMask or other private wallet. And all the links for today's video, they will be in the description below. Uh, I will be using MetaMask for the importing, so the exact method of importing into any other wallet will vary slightly, okay? But the general overview of how this is going to work still applies. So let's go into our first method, which is pulse X. So I'm going to switch over to the, so let's get started on our first method and let's go right into pulse X and show you how to do everything live on screen. All right. So we're here in pulse X in the exchange. And what you're going to notice is if you click in here, which is on the swap function uh, on any of these tokens, there's a manage token list here. You can kind of go over here, but it doesn't really, it's, you can't really see where all the tokens are. It doesn't really give you an option to import these tokens in here. Um, so what we're first going to do is let's just, we don't have to do this, but we can connect our wallet. We'll just do it real quick. Um, we're going to go now into, and this should load in just a second. The spot that we're going to want to go to is this three, these three little dots at the top left here, which I don't know if my cursor can be bigger there, but you can see there's three little dots there. We're going to go down to info. We're going to clickety click. And now. So this is going to show you the top tokens here. It's going to show you all the, uh, basically the analytics for the exchange. If you want all of them, the easiest way to go to this is just to click tokens. You can go to whatever token you want here if it shows up, but a list of all the tokens is going to be here. So we're going to click that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go down to whichever token we want. And I don't think I have actually imported Mintra. So I'll show you guys how to do this. It's very, very simple. All you do is you come down here, you click on the token you want and also connect your wallet. Hello. Interesting. Okay. We don't need to do that. Uh, it's not, it's not critical to get in here to connect it, to do all this. Um, so essentially what we're going to do though, is we are going to go all the way over to view on pulse scan and we're going to click that. And then it's going to bring us, see this little address right here. You can either highlight it and copy it, or you can click this little button right here. This is copy address, the two squares overlapping. Uh, just click this one real quick. And then what you do is you come in here, you go to the bottom of your MetaMask, not to the top or anything. Go to the bottom where it says import tokens. You click in here, you press command V, or you can actually right click and press paste, of course. And then you add the custom token. I don't have any, of course, so we're gonna press import tokens. But if you did have some, it will actually show you your balance here. So you can expect that. So let's click import tokens, boom. You have no transactions. So let's go all the way to the bottom and boom, we've got Mintra.io in there. So now if we went back to PulseX, we could add, uh, if we go to tokens, if we could go, there's three pages here. So we could basically add anything from wrapped ether to Shiba Inu to Tether to Dai. And the list goes, there's even Maxi in here at 222. Uh, wrap BTC. Yeah, the list goes on and on and on. So that is method number one. Let's go back and check out what number two is. So number two is going to be the Pulse Chain Block Explorer itself. So like we did, or like when we went into PulseX, we clicked that link to go to the, the Pulse, Pulse Chain Block Explorer. We can actually go there and we're going to do the same thing, but I'm going to show you how to actually find those tokens in the, in the Pulse uh, Block Explorer itself. So let's go there now and let's do that. All right. So we are here on the Block Explorer. And again, the link for this is going to be in the description as well. And what we're going to do here is we are going to go over to this little search bar at the top right corner here. And in here, you have to know the ticker. 
But if you know that PLSX is, or Pulse X is PLSX, or let's say you know that Mintra is Mint, right? You got M-I-N-T. So you can come in here. You can actually type in M-I-N-T. And where is it? Uh, maybe we have to type in Mintra. M-I-N-T. Perfect. You can come in here. And now just to verify here, let's go back over here. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. You can see that these are the same contract contract addresses here. And you could basically do the exact same thing we were talking about before, where you come in here, click copy address, come over here, click copy address. Then you go back into your MetaMask, go to the bottom, import tokens, paste it in there. Boom. Easy peasy. All right, so number three is going to be the Pulse Ramp Bridge, the place where you go to bridge tokens either or bring tokens from either Ethereum to Pulse Chain or from Pulse Chain to Ethereum. Now, not all of the tokens are going to be here, but this can be used for a used if you're on the bridge already and you want to import without having to go to PulseX. Like, there's a button for the tokens that you'll have bridged over, and I'll show you that in just a second. So let's go right there now. Okay, so now we're here at the Pulse Ramp Bridge, and as you can see, you got your wallet. You need your wallet hooked up, of course. But right away, there's going to be a list of tokens that maybe you're thinking about bridging that are going to be based out of your wallet. So if those are here, uh, and you'd be able to select an asset out of your wallet as well. But for now, all you have to do is that if you're bridging over Ethereum or you're bringing stuff back, you basically just click this import token here, and it's going to bring up your MetaMask. And then the drop down menu or this guy will show you the token and your balance and it'll say import. We're not going to do that right now. Don't need to do it. And uh, in, if you wanted to do it the opposite way, you'd switch networks like I'm doing here to the Rink B testnet. And then you'd be Ethereum. And of course, you don't have to import Ethereum because Ethereum is native to the uh the blockchain on this side of the, the fence. So it's automatically in your wallet. But let's say we wanted to do something like PPLS. And now this little import token will pop up and you'll actually be able to throw this into your wallet on the Ethereum side. So press that. And then now if I go into my a mask, then I'll come down here and ba -ba 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 boom, we got PPLS and P hex in our wallets so again this isn't the best way to do this this is just an alternative for if you're here and you don't want to have to go all the way over to pulse x and go through the menus it's just easier to do this just right here right now like this so again select the token that you want and it will allow you to just press this little button here to import tokens and you are as good as done but that's going to do it for today's video thank you so much for watching i hope you learned something if you did, please smash that like button, smash that subscribe. But also, if you have any more questions, if you thought of there's a different way that I didn't cover in this, if you just enjoyed the video, please drop me a comment. I would love to hear your thoughts. Also, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there is a giveaway from uh, community member Hexray Vision, which I will put a link to in the description. If you want to win one of three cryptographic hoodies, kind of like that one, then go to the link and follow the instructions on his page to win one of three of whatever color or design you want to win as well. This Wednesday, I will be starting a pre-order for one, for two different uh, Pulse X and Pulse Chain authentic soccer style jerseys. If you want one of those, there's only going to be a hundred available of each. Go to cryptographics.com and check them out. I will be opening up sales for these for pre-orders this Wednesday, uh, May 4th. Uh, there will be a bit of a turnaround. It's looking about eight weeks for these to turn around because they are custom made and I have to get them in and then reship them to everyone. But if you want to pick up one of a hundred of one of these or maybe both, this is your chance on Wednesday. It will go all the way through Sunday and then it will be closed to never be open again. And if you want to support the channel, you can buy one of the you can buy one of those soccer jerseys, or you can join the YouTube memberships. You can book a one on one call if you want to find out more about Pulse X, Pulse Chain, Hex, the whole ecosystem. You can go to the website and also purchase a hoodie or a T-shirt. It would mean the world to me, so I can keep doing this full time. And finally, there are scammers in the comments. If you see Pin by Cryptographics, WhatsApp, 
anything that isn't my highlighted name that says just cryptographics, it's not me. I'll never ask you to go to WhatsApp. I'll never do anything other than answer your question. And that's it. So be careful out there. And thank you guys so much for watching again. I will catch you very soon in the next one. Peace.